Welcome to Watch ND's Fighting Irish Top 10 Plays of February. I'm Rich Heidi with Cassie McDonald. We live in the highlight age of sports driven by those wow moments. Just when you think you've seen it all, athletically gifted teams and players extend their amazing feats to that next level. Now just as fair warning before we get started, some of these plays could make your jaw drop. And this was the snowiest month of February in South Bend history, if you can believe it, Rich. It bested the previous record set in 1908, and it may go without saying, but it was absolutely freezing. Can't argue with that one. These top 10 plays electrify the Irish faithful ever so slightly, making those temperatures a little easier to manage. Don't believe me? Just watch. And so we begin with number 10. What you say, Margaret Bambose, down the final stretch, the junior sprinter bustles around the corner and finishes with a new school record of 52.45 in the 400. Now, I know Loftus has the reputation of being a fast track. For some reason, when I run there, <laughs> it doesn't help too much. I don't care where Bambose is running. She can absolutely fly. Now, let's go to an ACC showdown, the Irish versus Duke. The Blue Devils were off to a strong start with a 14-5 lead, but QF junior guard Jewel Lloyd hitting a deep three, and she changed the entire momentum of the game. The Devils were cast away by the shining light <laughs> of a Jewel Lloyd three-pointer. Lloyd went on to hit three more shots from behind the arc, and senior guard Madison Cable hit three more. The Blue Devils missed all 12 of their three-pointer attempts, and they crawled back to Durham with those Blue Devil tails between their little legs. I like that one. That was creative. <laughs> Moving on to Irish women's lacrosse, the home opener. Here's Grace Muller on the attack. All Grace does is pick up G's. This is one of 17 on the afternoon and four for her. She fools everyone here. Stop, spin, shoot, score. Simple enough for her. And number seven, some people saw white and gold, some people saw blue and black, and all Taya Reimer saw was an opportunity at the baseline. She launched it to the back, cutting Jewel Lloyd for the alley-oop, and there is a good eye. Great minds think alike here. Point guard Lindsey Allen is perfectly on the same page with six-time ACC Freshman of the Week, Brianna Turner. This is almost a volleyball play here. Maybe you don't agree with me, Cassidy, but it's set by Allen, vertical leap, and points are recorded with an and-one opportunity for the 6'3 young forward. We cue the men's lax home opener against Georgetown early in the third quarter. Georgetown tied it up at 11, but it only took the Irish a couple of minutes to snatch that lead right back. Sergio Perkovic landed his next goal faster than I can eat an Einstein's bagel on Sunday morning, Rich. He ran with that lead. The Irish won 14-12. Perkovic had a big game, three goals, two assists. Number four, in the midst of a 10-0 Irish run versus Wake Forest, Austin Torres got in on the action with a pretty little bounce pass from Jerry and Grant. Torres stuffed it and got the celly, but Grant got to put that assist on his record. That game, Grant joined Chris Thomas as the only players in Irish program history to record at least 1,500 points and 600 assists. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. For a third best play, let's head to the world-class Compton Family Ice Arena. Irish captain Sam Hare on the break in the final seconds of the second period. The junior's one of three ND players with double-digit goals on the year. Now sometimes you get by with a little help from a friend, or in this case, an opponent. Hare backhands it off the diving fryer and into the net. And Emma Rainey snagged her second straight 100 breaststroke win in the ACC championship with a time of 58.72. She is known as the only swimmer to hold an American record while still in college, so she may very well be the best swimmer in school history. What a way to finish her final ACC run. Very impressive indeed. And now our top play winner for February. February 10th, in a sea of orange, the Irish notched a 60-58 to win over Clemson. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And don't get me wrong, Steve Asturia is a very good shooter at about 48%. But this is about as lucky as it gets right here. Ball going up and down on a Tuesday. Love my musical references here. A three-point chance the old-fashioned way for Vesturia. And as we move into March, what a great avenue this is to look back on a few of the many accomplishments made by these Irish competitors last month. Certainly more Irish standout performances will be on tap as we begin to wrap up winter sports and move into the spring slate. Thanks for watching this February edition of the ND Top 10. For Cassie McDonald, I'm Rich Heidi. This has been a presentation of Watch ND.